Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Brendan Lee with Consciousness and Skill Worldwide, founded by Peter Ralston. If you want to get serious, please check the links in the description. Do yourself and me a favor, like and subscribe to the channel, and please share this content if you find it valuable. In this video, I want to talk to you about motivation. Because I do believe I have a gripe. I've got a bit of a gripe about motivation in the sense that sometimes I hear in my workings, dealings with people, uh, namely, I, I just remembering one apprentice in particular, it's like, you know, well, how come... Like, I don't feel motivated. I can't, I can't do it because I don't feel motivated. Or, or well, wh what if I don't have the motivation? Now, I am not exactly sure what they're talking about when they're talking about motivation. Perhaps they're talking about a feeling. I don't feel like I'm motivated. Or, I don't have the motivation. Now, I don't know what, by what means I should have asked them to clarify what the fuck they're talking about when they tell me that they don't have motivation, but that's usually the words that come out of the mouth at that point is, I don't feel motivated, why should I take action, or something. So now, I want to clear this up and, and, and invite you to get off that perspective. And the, the, the stuff that occurs to me about that is something along the lines of, first of all, first of all, the quick method, the quick method, if you know you need to take an action and what you have coming up is I don't feel motivated to take the action, I believe I'm with Jocko Willink and David Goggins on it, shut the fuck up and do it. Shut up and do it. Stop this. Start action. That's the quick way. I don't feel motivated. I don't care. Do it. So it's not an excuse. I don't feel motivated. It doesn't work. You know? Likely, within the action itself, your motivation is already there. Yet unrecognized. Like, like if I'm... For example, if, if I am hiking up to the top of a mountain, inherent in the hiking itself is the goal, or the why I'm doing it. It's inherent in that, like a thought... But it's a thought that we don't really recognize. It's just way background. Then we might say that that is the motivation. Like, what's the motivation to hike up a mountain, you know? Uh, to get to the top. Or to enjoy the scenery. But in, it's inherent in the action. So in my mind, it's sort of a moot point. In my perspective, it is a moot point. I don't have motivation. Okay. So what? So now maybe, maybe, maybe there's something else that's being talked about that's, that's like, oh, I don't have motivation. Well, an here's another aspect of getting things done or doing things, right? Is if you, you know, like Peter Rollison, and Peter will use this example. It's basically like, well, I'm running from snarling dogs, so I run into an outhouse. And then, I, so I get in the outhouse and it's an undesirable situation. It stings. I don't want to be in it. It's hot and sweaty, especially if it's like in a Texas outhouse right about now. You know, it's a sauna. I don't like it. It's sweaty. I don't want to be in here. Well, okay, then leave the outhouse. Well, there's snarling dogs outside. Okay, so what you're saying was what you really want is to be in the outhouse. You see? You want that undesirable situation. Why? Because you're in it. Okay? Now, immediately I can apply this to certain other situations which are perhaps vastly out of my control. Say a bomb were to drop onto me at this point. Is that something I desire? No. Do I have any control over that? No, I don't. So, but that, that I feel like that is sort of outside the realm of what we're dealing with here because I'm specifically talking about you getting things done and being able to control your environment. All right. So then what do you do if you find yourself in this undesirable situation that you can actually control and you don't, and you have a problem with it. You got problems. Hey, I got problems. You got problems. Hey, we all got problems. Yeah. 
You gotta ask yourself, you gotta confront that you actually do want that situation. If you're in it, you want it. If you're doing it, you want it. You want to be doing it. Why? Because you're doing it. There is no like, well, I don't want to be doing it. That, that means anything. Yes, you will have this as like a, a negative experience, likely. I'm doing this thing I don't want to do. And the I don't want to do it part, that's a reaction to this thing that you're doing, you see. I don't want to do it. And it hurts. Yeah? As Peter would say at this point, then quit. Either do it or quit. Yeah, but I don't want to quit. Uh, I won't be making a paycheck. Oh, so what you're saying is you actually want to be there. Ah, I get it. Then be there. Do it. Own it. You don't need, you don't need the motivation. You don't need to rely on motivation to take action. You just need to rely on your, the, your capacity to look, look. You can move your body. You can speak, think, walk, talk. You can take action. You don't even need a reason. And or you can take the action and then notice this about reasons. You can make shit up after you do it about a reason why. The reason, whatever you make up, is not actually the reason why you did the thing because you make it up after the fact. And if you pay attention, likely some of your reasons can probably change over time. So then, then the original reason could not have been what the action was. And or notice that reasons and actions live in two different domains. One domain doesn't exist as, as we consider in a relative world here, this one that we live in. Reasons don't exist anywhere. You say, yeah, well, it's in my mind. I'm like, yeah, well, show me one. Go get me a reason. Or, and there's action that lives in what we call existence. It actually exists. It's tangible. It's palpable. I can show you action. See? Two fingers, baby. Yeah. That's action. What's my reason for doing that? Well, my reason is I'm making a video for you. I want you to grasp this about the difference between reasons and actions. My intent is to teach you. But where'd that come from? My mind. Where is my mind? Is it in my head? It actually does not share any physical reality. The action does. Okay? So now, motivation. I gave you the quick version at the beginning. If you're not motivated, I don't care. Just do it if you know you need to do it. And then, I went on to explain that if you are doing something, that is because you actually already want to do it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing it. Everything else is just an excuse. Okay, so I get a sense about this motivation question that is something like, well, like perhaps an assumption. If I don't feel motivated, that means that first I need to feel motivated, then take action. And this is false. For example, it brings up an, it brings up an example for me when I was actually when I was teaching apprentice. We were, I was teaching boxing, 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 boxing. Pretty sure it was boxing. In either case, it was about moving quickly, and this person thought that they had to first relax and then they could move quickly. I said, no, you don't need to do any steps prior. Simply go faster. Well, how do I go faster? I don't. I don't feel like I can go faster. I need to do this other thing first. I'm like, I said, no, just move quickly. Well, how do I do that? By doing it. I said, here, touch my hand. Boom. Okay, now. Here, touch my hand. Now do it faster. Okay, here, now do it faster. Okay, now do it faster. See? And they, they got quicker right away. There's no need to wait. So in the similar, I'm bringing this up as a parallel. Oh, first I need to feel motivated. I need to find the motivation, then take the action. No. You do not, you do not need to do it that way. And I bring these perspectives up because I feel they are more powerful than relying on some thought about how you think things need to proceed. I 
how do you know you're right about that? Now, my intent here is to come from a place of supporting you and being, you see, so I say this, a consciousness and skill worldwide. We're in the skill domain here. Skill, like taking action, you know, skill of life, in a sense. Being able to do something, whether you feel motivated or not, that's a power. You see, and this is a power, and I feel a little bit bad that a lot of my um, examples come from my what my view of the military is because I see that the military is the place that shows up most in our society that currently, 2020, where they get people past a lot of the bullshit that, that most of people have when it comes to getting things done. I mean, they really get stuff done. And you see, they, they, would, they would yell at Audi real fast. Well, I'm not feeling motivated. I don't care, soldier. Do 50 more push-ups. I don't, like, there's no excuses. They don't, they don't live in that domain, that world, really. And it makes it, makes it powerful. See, so I want you to have this same power. You know, the type of power that, and again, military example, I imagine guys in World War II, they say, hey, go take that hill. There's machine guns up there. They're going to they're gonna shoot most of you in the face, but we need that hill. And they go. That's power. At probably every fiber in their being is screaming at them. No, I don't want to go up that hill. Of course not. It's almost certain death. But they go anyway. That's, that's power. You see, so now imagine for yourself, if you could take action that is not adhering to any as if like rules or prerequisites you just take the action and it may show up again right so if if you do rely on this motivation aspect any action that is taken outside of this perspective that you need a certain motivation then you can take the action anything that takes place outside of that is likely to show up as uh crazy or it's going to feel weird or it's going to feel awkward or it's not going to feel right because this is what feels right to you and anything outside of that, which I'm inviting you to, if you're watching this video and you have these types of problems or issues, it's going to feel fucking strange. That's okay. So then you got to get used to taking action that is unreasonable. It doesn't make any reasonable sense. Like it doesn't have a reason except to be effective. And another tidbit about effectiveness is it's useful to be able to take action whether you feel good or bad about it. If you just let yourself be dominated by how you feel, you will always be pushed down certain roads and you will never step outside of that unless you do. And again, when you step outside of that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very not going to feel normal. So perhaps you can use that as a benchmark. This doesn't feel normal. I might be on the right track. All right, but then consider your actions with intelligence and see what you're doing, what you want, you know, what's your goal. Get clear on the purpose for the interaction and then take appropriate action, of course. All right, but this whole motivation business, it, to me, it seems like you don't, it's like, it looks like, you know, somebody's here, I need to be motivated, so then they fight this fact that they don't feel motivated, and I'm just saying, step back from the whole thing. You don't even need to fight anything. Just stop that whole business, leave it alone, take the action, and then go back to fighting whether you're motivated or not. You see? And then you might realize, oh yeah, oh, I can just take action. Because again, that's what I would do. If it was the quick version, you're coming to me with this kind of problem, I'd be like, shut up. What's the purpose for your interaction? Are you clear about that? Go do it. Yeah, but shut up. No talking. Action. Boom. Problem solved. It's a quick version. Yeah, but that's too harsh. Okay. If you want to rely on that, then you'll get certain consequences. That's, all, that's the way that's going to work. Okay. So this is my pers a bit of my perspective, thoughts on motivation versus action. Some things to consider. If you want to get things done in your life, you must take action. And sometimes you got to take action whether you like it or not. And that, to me, is a sign of somebody who's gaining in maturity. All right. So that's what I have for you now on that. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to get serious, 
please check the links in the description. Like and subscribe to the channel. Do everybody a favor and share this content if you think it worthy. Much love to you. This is Brendan Lee with Consciousness and Skill Worldwide, founded by Peter Ralston. Till next time. Ciao.